Have, have you ever bit your lip? I, of course you have. That's a stupid question, right? I wanted to lead the video off with that question because I bit my lip a couple of days ago. And I want to tell you how I bit my lip because I think it's a, a funny story. But before I do that, I want to share with you a little secret that I, uh, of making your swim jammers last a little longer than they should. I don't know how it works for women. I, I'm sure the swimsuits get get thin like the swim jammers and wrinkled. And um, in fact, my swim jammers get so thin that when I walk by children, mothers cover their, their kids' eyes and their own eyes too, actually. <laughs> um, but one thing about me that you need to know is I'm, I'm cheap or, or maybe tight with my money. Maybe that's the word. The only person tighter than me is Jack Bing. Okay, that should give you some idea. And I came up with this idea to make my swim jammers last a little bit longer. Here we go. When they start to get thin, I take pair, that, that pair, that old pair, and I put them off to the side. That's pair one. I buy a new pair, and that's pair two. Now, I wear pair two until they get so, so thin that you can see through them. But instead of throwing them away, I get out pair one and I put them on over pair two, and now you can't see through them. I hurt my back a while ago, and um, basically, it was bad enough I needed an MRI. Have you ever had an MRI? If you've never had one, it's like being stuffed into a torpedo tube, and then Def Leppard, ACDC, and Black Sabbath are all in concert at the same time, playing as loud as they can. But not the whole band, mind you, just the drums and one or two guitars with really high distortion. And from that, they can diagnose what's wrong with me. I mean, it would have been a whole lot cheaper just to go to an acid rock concert, get high off the fumes, and then I wouldn't feel anything for at least three days. <laughs> Now, I, I don't know if you're familiar with Dick Sports. It's this huge sporting good store. They've got, you know, a lot of great stuff. Golf, tennis, camping, fitness. And Lori wanted to get a power tower. A power tower. Which is one of those things, you know, you can do push-ups or pull-ups, dips, uh, crunches, and all kinds of good workout stuff on it. And I, so I was glad to get one of those, too. Right next to the fitness section where the power tower was. Was the swim section, and who needs swim jammers more than anybody? LG needs swim jammers more than anybody. We're walking out of Dick's with a brand new pair of swim jammers, and what do you do when you have a little time on your hand and brand new swim jammers? You go to the pool. You go to the pool. You try them out, you know? Now, since I hurt my back, since I hurt my back, I have this little ritual. I swim for about 30 or 40 minutes, then I get into the hot tub spa for about five, 10, 35 minutes, whatever. Then I go straight to the sauna. When I got into the sauna on this particular day, there were two men in there, old men. No, not old men, elderly gentlemen. There were two elderly gentlemen in there talking about this and that, talking about their wives, what they did uh, before their retirement. They're talking about real estate deals and politics and sports. And one old guy says, <clears throat> one of the elderly gentlemen says, <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, I think I'm going to get back into tennis, but I need a new tennis racket. I'm, I think I'm going to go to Dick's and get me a tennis racket. Dick's, right? And then he says, <clears throat> now, you, you got you to gotta picture this. I'm in stealth mode, okay? I don't want to be heard. It's just the three of us in there. I don't want to be really heard or seen because I don't want to get involved in their conversation. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to accidentally say something stupid. Um, and I don't know these guys. So I'm just listening in stealth mode. You ever been to Dick's? Remember, I'm in stealth mode now. His friend says, I kid you not, he says, Dick's sport. I love Dick's. I absolutely love Dick's. I'm addicted to Dick's. And that's how I bit my lip. <laughs> yeah. The moral of the story is, use the steam room, not the sauna. <laughs> All right. Sorry I don't have much on triathlon today. Uh, hopefully we'll have something 
to say about Kona because it just finished up this morning and it was a great race. Jan Frodeno and Anna Haug are our new champions. Germany takes first place, but hey, Tim O'Donnell, he did America proud, came in second. Love you, Tim. Uh, congratulations to everyone. All right. Until next time, stay to the right, pass on the left. Keep on smiling. I'm LG. Bye.